Hi guys and welcome to the Havoc Demon Hunter guide for 7.35. In this guide I'll be going through the um, single target and AOE legendaries and talents and the rotation and how to maximize your DPS. So for single target legendaries to start off with, you want to be trying to aim to get the ring, which I have uh, currently on this character. Demon's Bite generates an additional 1 to 14 fury. This just allows you to care strike even more than before and you'll just be able to have a lot more fury to spend on blade dance and chaos strike so you won't have a lot of downtime which is what you kind of have when you don't have um when you don't have your ring um next what you want to be taking is um the shoulders the remaining cooldown on metamorphosis this is reduced by one second for every fury thirty fury you spend obviously with this build especially with the ring you're going to be getting a lot more fury and then you can have Therefore, you get a lot more fury to spend, and meta just comes off cooldown quicker. But yeah, I'll go through the single target um, talents now. So, Blind Fury, Eye Beam generates 35 fury every second, and its duration is increased by 50%. You want to be using this due to the fact that the tier 21 um, 4 set, or the 2 set, gives you 15% haste after you used after Eye Beam's ended. So, obviously, Eye Beam... You're going to be getting fury while um while using I beam, and then when you come out, you have a lot more haste, so you can spam up your chaos strikes with the spare um, fury you've got from blind fury. Blind fury. Next, what you want to take is dem demonic appetite. Due to the fact you're going to have you're going to be spamming chaos strike literally all the time, if um blade dance and I beam are on cooldown or if fury of Ill Illidari is on cooldown. So this is really really good. You're going to get the full use out of it. Next one you want to take First Blood, obviously if you read it, reduce the Fury cost of Blade Dance by 20, increases its damage to the, to, to the target, the first target struck, so obviously that's just really good for single target. Next one's down to you, but I like taking Neverwalk due to the fact it's literally just a free, you know, solo soak, it's just a bubble. Immune sword damage and enable to attack, movement speed increase, it's just good for all, all fights. Next what you want to take is Nemesis, increases the damage you inflict against the target by 25% for one minute. So this is just in general good. So when you pull in, you know, you can use Nemesis, then Meta. And if you're using the shoulders, it lines up quite nicely. You usually get Nemesis and Meta coming off cooldown at the same time. So your damage is going to be skyrocketed every every around about two minutes. So you have a good DPS on pull. You have good sustain. Then on two minutes, bang again. Into Meta, Nemesis, big damage. Next, Demonic Reborn. Invoking Metamorphosis also resets the cooldown of I-Beam, Chaos Nova, and Blur. You just want this for the, you know, go into meta. Use I-Beam before you go into meta, so you get Demonic. So if you see a Demonic, I-Beam causes you to enter Demon form for 8 seconds after it dealing damage. So what you want to do if you want to get the full potential. If you use I-Beam at the start, you'll get meta, and then you can start using your Chaos Strikes. And then use meta again, and I-Beam will reset. So you have just so much haste going into it. Because obviously with the 2 set, you'll have 15% haste every time you're doing I-Beam. And this will stack. So if I show you quickly, I'll do a quick I beam. Do a quick I beam now. As you can see, I'm gonna have that increased haste. And then if I go into um, if I go into meta again, I beams reset, and I've got another bunch of haste I can use, and I can just spam um, annihilations, and I'll get the um, the strikes coming off. As you can see, the little. Um, the soul fragments coming off, demonic appetite, which will just give me even more fury to spend. Death sweep, obviously that's going to um, that's going to deal more damage to the primary target. But yeah, once um, death sweeps on cooldown, you just want to be spamming annihilation. Or when we come out of meta, if I quickly just get out of meta, I can't disable it. Well, okay, just quickly let this meta end. But yeah, as you can see, I'm just spamming um, annihilation slash chaos strike, death sweep back off cooldown. I should be using my my I beam, but I just want to quickly show you. So what you want to be doing is, when you see Blade Dance come off cooldown, use it instantly. Then just spam Chaos Strikes. If you run out of fury, use Demon's Bite. Just generate loads of fury. But yeah, and now you can see I beams back off cooldown. I'm going to use I beam now. Obviously, I'll come out with all that haste, so I can just literally use my Annihilations and do really big damage. Pick up my Soul Fragment, so I'm getting a lot of fury. Use Death Sweep. And just keep using Chaos Strikes. So you can see it's really, really fun and simple. Um, yeah. But especially with the change in the uh, Tier 21 2 set, where you get haste every time you use I-Beam, 
it's just really, really good to use the I-beam build. And I enjoyed the I-beam build before. But yeah. And as you can see, I-beam damage increased by 40%. And obviously when you get that before you go into meta, and then when you go, when you go into meta, it's just crazy, crazy good. But yeah. So now we're going to the AoE um, talents. There's not much change to it apart from the fact that instead of first blood, first blood, sorry, you want to be taking Chaos Cleave. Obviously, Chaos Strike hits all nearby enemies for an additional 10% damage. So you're just going to do so, so much damage with that. Next, obviously, you want to take uh, Demonic again and Demonic Reborn. Because obviously, it ties in with that I-Beam. And you're going to be doing so much damage with that I-Beam. It's just going to be your main DPS output. So obviously when there's a downtime, when there's not a lot of adds up, say if there's two or three, you just want to be using the Chaos Strike because you know it's going to hit all the targets. But when you know there's a lot of targets going to be up, for example on High Command, when you know that three adds are going to spawn, when they spawn, just I-Beam, you'll get meta and you can just spam Annihilations because that will hit all nearby targets. And then obviously you can go into meta and just deal do another big I-Beam. And obviously when there's more targets, the more targets you stun, it will reduce the cooldown on I-Beam. So that's why DH is so, so good in big um, in big fights. Whereas if you have about like 10 adds, I-Beam, you'll get meta, then you use Chaos Nova. And I-Beam will literally be reset already because you've stunned so many targets. And if you tie in with that in with um, the helmet, which is just the main legendary you want to be using um, for AoE, the remaining cooldown on I-Beam is reduced by 0.3 seconds each time it hits an enemy. Obviously, you can just see how overpowered that is with the two set and the four set. So yeah. That's why the helmet's so good. And the next one's really down to you. I've seen a lot of people use different different types, but it's really down to you what you prefer. But yeah, that's it for the um, Havoc Demon Hunter. Uh, like and subscribe if you like the video and comment any suggestions if I've missed anything or you want me to make a video on something. But yeah, so see you in the next one and check out my new video soon. See you later.